tough times for some local D.C. police officers who are in the process of retiring. Those officers haven't received paychecks in months. New at 6 tonight, Jay Korf is live in northwest Washington to explain the problem. Jay. Allison, this is the paycheck that they get when they go through the retirement process, but they aren't working anymore. It actually reads zero dollars and zero cents. These officers and their union reps say that because they were forced out in their words, that they're now being penalized financially. So, I mean, basically, I'm, I'm between a rock and a hard place. 66-year-old Jerome Lucas worked as a D.C. police officer for some 40 years. Now he feels like the city he protected for a generation has abandoned him. It's been eight weeks of no pay. In June, the city decided for no clear reason to start enforcing an old law that makes police officers retire at 64. Union officials say 17 officers, including Lucas, were forced to retire. They had to wait until the end of July before hearing that the mayor and deputy mayor had rejected their appeals to continue working. Now they have to wait for the retirement board to make their retirement official. Lucas says all of these delays are hitting these recent retirees hard because during this process, which could take months to resolve, they are not getting a salary or a pension. One of the guys is applying for welfare. Another one says he's out of funds. And basically everybody is having financial hardships. Ultimately the mayor is at fault because he has the ability to fix it and he's refused to. The head of the police union says this newly enforced policy, which he calls a shameless slap in the face to model officers, is dragging on, taking 30 to 60 days longer than it should, and in the process, hurting men who sacrificed so much for the city's safety. They're causing real harm to some of these guys because uh, they don't have the cash reserves to deal with not having any income at all over this period of time. Basically, it tells me you can't trust anybody. Well, we have a development late today after asking a lot of tough questions and pushing for answers from a number of D.C. agencies, including the mayor's office and the police department. A representative of the retirement board told me that the officers who were forced to retire will have their cases looked at Monday, August 25th. I am told by a union official that if everything goes according to plan on Monday, those officers may get their pension checks within 30 to 60 days after that. Live in the district, Jay Korf, ABC 7 News. All right. Thank you, Jay.